what's going on people what's going on how y'all feeling tonight well whatever day you watching i hope you having a blessed whatever time of day you watching me i hope you having a blessed one so i'll be giving my thoughts and opinions on a couple of topics you know celebrities and what's going on with them i'm always trying to come up come with you guys with new videos and what's new what's going on or even what's trending so the the celebrities of discussion would be Denzel Washington and his son, Little Kim and her boyfriend, Mr. Papers, Cardi B and, you know, Brianna Taylor, and King Von um, speaking on Takashi 69. So let's get this started. So let's start with Denzel Washington's son, John David Washington. So he recently admitted to lying about his father. If Denzel Washington was your father, would you lie? Would you be honest and tell people that's your dad? Like, would you be honest or would you just be like, no, you know, just totally deny that Denzel is your father to try to get ahead in the industry? Because I'm not mad at what his son did. I'm not mad at John because I understand like when you are famous, no, when you connect to somebody that's famous and have power, Things are just giving to you. It's like, it's just giving to you. Like, you don't have to work for it. There's a lot of people who are giving positions, excuse me, giving positions and giving so many different things, and they don't even deserve it. Or they don't even have the talent or the skill set to even, even, even be in that situation. And you have people who are really skilled, really talented, and deserve the position, but because they don't know anybody, they are last online. Oh, they never picked at all. So he wants to get by due to his hard work. He wants to make a name for himself. He did not want to use his father, famous Denzel Washington. He did not want to use his father's name to get by. So people, of course, most people agreed that he should have used his father's name. He should have took that privilege and took advantage of that. Like, that's privilege. Like, if you have a famous father, you're gonna be like, yo, that's my dad, put me on. It's, it will make life so much easier. Like I said, things are just giving to you. But it doesn't really feel the same because it's like, you didn't have to work for it. It's like, it, it almost feels like when you get, when you're just given things, it's like you don't even deserve it. Like, you want to work for your awards. You want to work for, you know what I'm saying? of achievement. You wanna you wanna achieve your goals and excel on your own due to the work that you put in. You don't wanna you don't wanna get by due to knowing somebody famous or even dealing laying with laying up with somebody famous, having a relationship with somebody famous. No, you wanna have build a name for yourself. So I'm not mad at his son John for doing what he doing what he did. I totally understand. And he he played the hell out of his role in Black Klansman. That's what, how I knew who he was. I didn't know he was Denzel Washington's son because for me, he don't really look like his father. I don't know if you guys agree. Do you do you think he looks like his dad? Because I don't really think he looked like his father. I don't know. It is me. I would have never thought that was like father and son. Maybe like on the side when he smiles, he looked like his dad, but I don't know. But he did a hell of a good job in Black Klansman. If you guys haven't seen that movie, y'all better go check that movie out. That's a dope movie. I definitely enjoyed and definitely had some laughs in that movie. So I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you, John. You know, you definitely deserve the position that you're in and you worked hard without having to use your father's name. Many people there's people that can't do that, so congrats to you. All right, so let's move on to the next topic. We're gonna be talking about King Von. So he's a Chicago, yeah, he's a Chicago rapper, and he expressed his opinions on people who worked with Nicki Minaj. Oh, I, sorry, people that work with people that worked with Takashi Six Nine after Takashi Six Nine done did what he did, actually Snitch Nine. Um, so he have strong feelings about people who work with Snitch Nine. So, like for example, Nicki Minaj when she did Troll, he said he used to love her. So now he doesn't love Nicki Minaj because she worked with a Snitch. You know, so he basically was saying that. Any anybody, well, he said bitches and hoes. He said any bitch or any hoe that, excuse my language, but if any female listen to Takashi Six Nine, then she must be dumb, stupid, and slow. And I'm just like, 
okay well why just women i don't know maybe men are maybe he met men too but i just feel like some people are able to separate the artist from their from their the artist from their music some people would never care to meet Takashi um 69 in person some people would never care to get his autograph some people would never care to see him you know at a concert but you know they just feel like you know what if this guy makes some good some good music i'm gonna listen to it i know he's a snitch but i don't fool with him like that that's the attitude a lot of people have like well if he you know, if, I'm, if I don't fool with him personally, like, it's nothing. He just makes music. And and the, the funny thing is, like, since he came out, he released, like, what, Trolls? There's another song. It starts with a G. Gaba? Uh, I don't know what that song was. But it, it sounded kind of nice. He had, in the video, he had, a, um like, these females. Like, all these different females in different colors. From wearing purple, pink, yellow, green. So I forgot the name of that song, but I, I know Panani, he came up with that song. And that song got like, what, 66 million views. Probably more. Probably more as of right now as I'm doing this video. So, and the song, I'm going to be honest, it, it sounds it sound catchy. It's, it's, it sounds like it would be a banger. But I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't listen to it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't put it on my playlist. But when I heard it, I was like, okay. Okay, it's like listening to his music, like even like now, you it, it's kind of good to the point where you almost damn near forget that he even snitched. You forgot that little that little sucker even snitched. Like that's how that's how good people are with, with you know with, with you know what I'm saying whatever skill with whatever they're doing, whether it's rapping, singing, acting, like they are so good at what they do that you forgot that man this person's a freaking asshole. Like this person did A, B, and C. Nah, but you almost forget. But anyway, so what do you guys think? Do you guys think that no one should to 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 Takashi Six Nine since he did what he did? Do you think that he should be like totally like like canceled? Like no music being played for him, no type of no nothing. Like what do you think? Do you agree with that? You know, let me know. It's the same thing with R. Kelly. When R. Kelly got caught up in his situation, there were people still bumping R. Kelly's music. People were still listening to, you know, say "Step in the Name of Love." You know, it was just like R. Kelly made some beautiful, dope ass songs. Some baby making music like he made some music you can make love to get a have a baby you know like r kelly is the he was so he can't read damn thing but writing he was skilled he was blessed in that department so some people were like listen that's r kelly's music man r kelly we can separate the artist from the music so i mean it, it's it really sucked because r kelly is he's been in the game for a long time and he dropped a lot of nice songs a lot of hits and he wrote a lot of hits for a lot of people so it's unfortunate with his situation but you tell me what you think you know i don't know that that's a pretty tough one for a lot of people you tell me what you think it you know how you feel about that so we'll move we'll be moving on to little kim and her boyfriend mr papers now what song does he sing have y'all do y'all like mr papers is he a good rapper is he dope because I, I haven't heard anything i haven't heard him trending or you know i haven't heard anything about him but whatever but that's her boyfriend and she has a daughter with him so um Fans were concerned and alarmed because he made some unsettling, uncomfortable, con you know, alarming, you know, comments on her uh, on her social media. So he said something that disturbed her fans and had her fans concerned about her. And he said, "Don't." What did he say? He said, "You better not cheat on me, biatch." And then she replied back and said, no, he said, if, if you cheat on me, biatch, I will kill you. And then she replied and said, well, if you cheat, I will sue you. And she did the shrug, put the shrug emoji, and that was the end of it. So people were like, you know, it was like, it almost like she was like, they were joking. But I don't know about jokes like that because 
when you start to make threats to someone's life joking or not i'm going to take that seriously i don't trust any man telling a woman i'm going to kill you biatch if you cheat on me because there are dudes that have done that and they kept their word so i wouldn't take that lightly if i was her i'm just saying so if he's joking okay but i'll just say hey when people tell you something keep your eyes on them they might be capable of doing that so just 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 keep your keep your eyes open so anyway so hopefully they hopefully you know they will be okay you know they have a, a cute little daughter a bo adorable daughter together so hopefully he'll do nothing stupid okay so let's move on to cardi b and brianna taylor so cardi b called out some male rappers she called out some male rappers because she felt like they should have spoken up for Brianna Taylor. And Brianna Taylor is a young a young female. She was 26 years old and she had a really good job at MT at EMT worker saving lives. So Cardi B felt like Brianna Taylor was most likely a fan of a lot of these rappers. She probably, you know, listened to a lot of their music and supported them and you know, definitely embrace them and for them not to say anything about her tragic death is kind of like, wh like, what are you doing? It's kind of like disrespectful, like, you, I mean, even if you didn't give any money to her family, you didn't donate, but the fact that they, to speak up for the wrong that was done to her, then that would have been, that would have been highly appreciated. You know, I, a lot of times people will say, you know, celebrities don't owe the fans anything, but to be honest, I'm not saying that you have to pay the, the, your fans rent. I'm not saying you have to donate and put money in their bank account. But I'm just saying like the, 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 little, the little thing that you can do is show support, show some love. Some kind words are always appreciated. You know what I'm saying? I'm not Ellen DeGeneres. I'm not saying, oh, be kind, and I'm just like a, and be, and I'm a freaking monster behind closed doors. No, I'm sincere. I'm just saying, truly be kind. Give kind words to people. That littlest, Action can really make someone's day can really make someone's day and, and can make a difference so just some kind words to her family some words of support and comfort that would have been great I mean it doesn't cost you anything so that's what Cardi B was saying like you know people need to support and you know like I said I'm sure that she was a fan of a lot of these rappers but not one rapper to come out and say anything you know, so, I mean, I do agree with her on that. Uh, what do you think of, what do you think? Should rappers come out and speak on behalf of a, of the death of these uh, young people that are being murdered, um, you know, unjustly? Should they stay quiet or should they speak up? They speak up when they have stupid beef. They speak up about that. But when it comes down to something really serious, you know, they kind of quiet. So I kind of peeped that. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me how you feel about that situation. That's one thing with Cardi B. She is very unapologetic. She definitely speaks her mind. I don't agree with everything that she says and do. Um, but she definitely speaks her mind. And I do agree with this one. So tell me what you think. All right. So I'm about to end this video. I'm about to go eat and enjoy the rest of my night <laughs> so like comment and subscribe if you want i'll catch you in the next video stay blessed never stress i'll see you then all right bye